Hello all, my name is Alex Wilkins and today I'm going to be taking you through some updates to the iHasco Learning Management System. Uh, these updates have been made to make your life a lot easier as an administrator of your training. Now we're going to start off on the home page of the dashboard which you'll all be familiar with. Um, you'll get a pie chart you can see on the home screen. Now the first update here is you can now filter this pie chart by certain segments or areas of your business. You'll see there's a drop down list to the right of how are you doing and you can select different areas. Now if I click on manager, we will see that pie chart then updates to reflect the results for the manager. Um, on top of this, if we select the pie chart for an area which we are interested in, for example, expires soon, that will take us through straight to the reports page um, where we can see that result and well any results in, in that group that are expiring soon and they will appear in a bulk um, view on your screen here. Now you may remember we had uh, a drop down list in reports now that's completely gone all your results are on one screen now and you can change between the courses by selecting the course that you want to here. Um, again a nice simple easy um, update that can make your life easier. Um, we've also got uh, new tabs here so you've got in progress, completed, failed and expiring soon and expired uh, and you can filter through very similar to how you used to be able to in your reports um, but you've also got need and attention shortcuts and that's anyone who's failed, expired or expiring soon uh, and you're not started shortcuts um, and again these are all segment aware I can change these over here by selecting the, the segment I want to view and we can now as well as that get a consolidated report off for, for different segments so we used to be able to give you the reports um, as an overview for your whole business you can now take that from a filtered view whether that be by a segment or between a date um, or, or for any job title for example in, in your business you can download a report for what you see on screen by clicking export um, and you're better off choosing the, the recommended report there um, if you have any questions on how to use the other reports contact your account manager um, but as you can see it's, it's easy um, to flick through you can see your results here failed expiring soon again um, it's just showing you how easy these updates have made your life um, from a reporting point of view uh, a, f a few more updates to the user's interface as well, so we can see here, uh, it looks very similar, but we, we can filter by enrolled in and select a course, so we can see who's enrolled in display screen equipment um, directly from the user's view rather than going to the reports now as well. Um, again, a nice simple update for you, and you can change the course to whatever you like to there really, um, and you can change the, the fields that you want to select as well. Now, one more update as well. We, we've launched some updates to, to the assessments interface. So if you're a user of our display screen equipment training, you will see here um, there's some slight uh, adjustments to the assessments as well. So you can change that by segment and pull off reports for, for individual areas of your business um, rather than as a whole, uh, again, making your life easier. If you need to just report on one area for that day. And you can also select any assessments completed within a certain date. So last 30 days, last seven days last month last quarter it's your choice really uh, and similarly to the reports you can select in progress completed um, so you can get that view straight away so as you can see some nice simple updates there but that is going to make your life a lot easier if you do have any questions please speak to your account manager um, but hopefully you've enjoyed this short webinar today and it's hopefully going to give you a bit of an overview of exactly how to use the new tools in the iHasco system thank you very much guys